what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What do you think about Steve Hart? Uh, you know, Steve's a funny dude, man. Um, Steve's a funny motherfucker. Um, and again, as far as, like, I know people have gave, given him shit and called him a coon, but I, I'm, not, I'm not that up on what he has done to warrant that. I don't know exactly, oh my God, I can't point to something and go, oh, that's why. I can tell you. I can, I can tell you. Okay. <laughs> I can tell you a whole lot, but if we ain't got enough time, you know, my, you know, my, my audience is very familiar with Steve Harvey and his shenanigans. Uh, but you know, one of the things I can tell you right, right off the, what, right well, off let, me, let me, let me, let me say this. Let me say this. I saw when him and Monique got into it. Yeah. And he said, uh, this ain't the money. I, I, this ain't the integrity game. It's the money. Integrity, this is the money game. Yeah. Now I know people hear that and go, Nigga, you should never sell your soul for money. You should never let money dictate. And I understand where that comes from. And I agree with that. But I also think people don't understand what he was, maybe he didn't articulate it right, or his words fucked it up. Um, yeah, I, wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't have said, I wouldn't have said, fuck your integrity. But what I understood where he was coming from was, look, if you got a family to feed, kids to take care of, people that depend on you. That don't mean do soft shoot. That don't mean shuck and jive and buck. But what it means is try not to let things disrupt what's more important for the moment, taking care of my family, making sure my kids eat. They got a roof over their head, clothes on their back. Again, this is a very fine line and this is very tricky because people interpret this the wrong way. I'm not saying sell out. I'm not saying bucking coon. I'm not saying shuffle and jive. I'm just saying, like I, like I said earlier, certain things that you don't need to say or do, maybe hold back. And I'm, let me give you an example. When I did Vlad TV and I said what I said about Jordan Peele, I believed what I said, but because I said it, it cost me, my, it cost me opportunities with Jordan Peele. When I went and auditioned for The Last OG, the role eventually went to Cedric the Entertainer, which I can almost even understand because he's the bigger name. He's the bigger star. But I would be re remiss if I didn't think, come on, man, Jordan heard what you said. He was the only black dude in the room surrounded by 15 white boys. You don't think them white boys, if he didn't see, see what I said, go, hey man, you need to look at this. Look at what this nigga said. So whether they did it or whether he saw it on his own, he saw it. That this nigga's gone on to win Oscars, produce TV shows with Al Pacino, th th two of the biggest blockbuster movies of all time, Get Out and Us. And now he's doing the remake on Candyman. I may have been a part of some of that if I didn't say what I said. So yeah. what do yeah. you make of that? What the mate is talking about?